now on Coast TV News. Blowback, offshore wind protesters making their case today in Georgetown. The heated debate plus what supporters of the project have to say. Dangerous debris, chunks of concrete, asphalt, rebar and more washing ashore at the Indian River Inlet right where surfers catch their waves. Seal spotting on the coast, an adorable rescue story plus how to keep yourself and other marine life out of harm's way. This is Coast TV News at 6. Protesters gather outside a hearing. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 6. We begin tonight with a crucial step for an offshore wind farm facing opposition once again. Sussex County Council was weighing a conditional use application today. So what exactly does that mean? Well, the ordinance would allow for the electric substation for the U.S. wind farm to be built near the Indian River power plant. Neighbors say it's one step closer and too close to a wind farm that they do not want. Say no to killing our oceans. It's a swindle. Just a few sentiments from the roughly dozen people who were protesting outside Sussex County Council today. One day it's going to affect a lot of people and I'm just sad to see that it's going to be local. I love the beaches here and I'd hate for us to be looking at windmills. At the heart of this protest is a conditional use application that would allow for an electrical substation to be built next to the Indian River power plant where offshore wind energy would be brought on shore. But an attorney for the applicant argues that these protesters are at the wrong spot, saying in a letter to counsel, quote, the merits of wind power and the offshore turbines is not part of this conditional use application. Going on to say this application is just about if this location is, quote, appropriate for an electrical substation, and that's it. It was noted in council today that currently Delaware does not have a contract to get this power. This is a Maryland operation. It's paid for by the Maryland people. Any wind energy that we get out of this deal is going to go right directly to, to Maryland, not us. So why should we destroy our state park for the purpose of Maryland? Let Maryland destroy their own. Though that could change and environmentalists say this type of energy is all about change. It's going to be benefiting people all over the place. We may have tourists coming to Delaware who want to see what these offshore wind turbines look like. Advocates also say this project would bring clean energy to the Delmarva Peninsula. Sussex County Council deferring a vote until a later time. To defer on conditional use 2515. It is worth noting that this hearing and its protest comes one day after the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management released its final environmental impact statement on a key permit for the proposed wind farm. According to the statement, there would be minimal impacts to marine life and birds. However, researchers say there would be, quote, negative visual impacts as the turbines could be seen from the Fort Miles Historic District in Lewis, the U.S. Coast Guard Tower in South Ocean City, and the U.S. Life Saving Station in Ocean City. The Bureau says that the project's full statement will be published in the coming days. New today, a van crashed into the Vineyards apartment complex on Route 9 in Lewis, and then it caught on fire. A black truck was seen by neighbors in the ditch on the other side of Route 9 with some damage as well. And you can see the damage here on your screen. We spoke with one person who lives in the complex and saw this happen. The van came up and uh, never stopped. It, at speed, he plowed into the back end of the uh, pickup truck that was already stopped in traffic, pushed the pickup truck across the, into the oncoming traffic. Scary scene there. No word yet on any injuries. New today, state police continue to look into a crash that killed a 77-year-old scooter driver from Lewis. Here's the details here. It was about 442 on Clay Road near Marsh Road. That's in the Five Points area. Officials say a Honda Accord was making a left turn onto Marsh Road into the scooter's path. Because of that, the scooter police say hit the Honda. The driver of the scooter was thrown into the street, ultimately killed. The 19-year-old Honda driver was not hurt. New today, Delaware State Police have arrested a Virginia Beach man for what's described as an aggravated menacing at Delaware's state fair. 
On July 27th at 11.45 p.m., troopers responded to a hit and run crash in the cow parking lot at the state fair. Before troopers arrived, they were told that two drivers involved in the crash were arguing. One displayed a gun and then took off in a black Honda Pilot. When officers arrived on the scene, they learned that the suspect, 37-year-old Joseph Kellogg, pointed a gun at the victim during the argument about that crash and then drove away. Luckily, nobody was hurt. Let's go ahead and take a live look right now outside into Ocean City. A beautiful evening as we check in with our first alert chief meteorologist, Paul Williams. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, Maddie. And we're keeping a close eye on how things are developing after the midnight hour because we have some late night early morning showers. It's trying to sneak into our general vicinity. We'll see how that's tracking with the um, impulse that's along a trough that's uh, helping to create that possibility. Our Milford camera, Bay Hill, 84 degrees, dew point temperatures in the 70s, so it's definitely, we got a decent piece of muggy out there, so to speak. We'll drop back to 79 degrees by 9 o'clock with partly cloudy skies. Here's a look at the temperatures right now. We're at 75 Bethany Beach, but 82 in Milton, 83 Millsboro, 83 also in Georgetown. But also notice the dew point temperatures in the 70s as well. So that's where that decent chunk of humidity and uh, that, that we're talking about. But fortunately, our live radar, we're looking really clear for right now, even though we're starting to see a little bit in the way of some scattered showers gaining some foothold as it begins to careen towards us. We'll talk more about that and the timing of it in a moment. Till then, back to you, Charlie. Thank you, Paul. Taking a dip at the Indian River Inlet may be more dangerous than you think. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappay shows us what lurks underneath these waters. Surfing near the Indian River Inlet is an everyday thing for Nathan Phillips, who has been teaching kids how to ride the waves for the past seven years. But he says there are lots of problems in the area. You have to be super aware, and uh, as a teacher of a surf school, we have to explain to the kids, you know, don't land feet, feet first in the water, be careful when you're coming up on the beach because you'll scrape your knees up. We had somebody scrape their knee up yesterday. Surfers and beachgoers have to be cautious of all the debris left around the north side of the Indian River Inlet. Some hazardous problems include chunks of asphalt, concrete, and even boards with rusty nails, something Linda and Lynn Firestone saw Monday. There was three large boards that had came in on shore, and there was one out in the ocean, like sticking up out of the ocean. So how did all this wreckage end up on the beach? According to Crystal Stokowski, who made it her mission to clear out the trash, says there used to be another bridge before this one that was being taken down. But once Hurricane Sandy came by, that bridge was destroyed, which resulted in all that was left of the bridge going into the ocean. Denrec received a grant to cover all the debris with sand. But since 2019, that sand has been eroded, which means all the wreckage is popping back up on shore. I talked to a beachgoer who didn't want to appear on camera, but told Coast TV that she saw a kid who was surfing get hurt when he fell off his surfboard and scraped his back on asphalt, which was under all the water. Philip wears protective shoes so he could touch the bottom of the inlet safely, something he didn't have to wear in the past. I talked to one local who's been going to this beach for over 60 years, and he's told me he's never seen the debris this bad. I'm Kevin Zappay on the Inlet Beach, Coast TV News. Well, do you love Cape Henlopen State Park? There is a workshop tomorrow night to give the community the opportunity to share feedback about planned projects in the park. Those include building a new park office, campground improvements, and creating a beach bathhouse with larger capacity. All of that is happening at the Officers Club from 6 to 7.30. Cape Shore Beach received a visitor Monday morning. The Lewis Police Department received multiple calls for a seal. You see it on your screen here. The MERS specialist assessed the situation, determined that the seal was healthy and recently weaned from its mother. The Lewis Police Department and the Murr Institute reminded the public the Marine Animal Mammal Protection Act, it mandates a minimum distance of 150 feet from all marine mammals to ensure their safety and well-being. If you encounter a marine mammal that appears sick, injured, whatever you might see there, please contact Murr. We're going to have more on this story tonight on Coast TV News at 11. In traffic news, some road work to look out for, and it's related to one big project. Autumn Road at Branch Road will be closed starting next Tuesday. Crews will be installing sewer lines until Wednesday, August 21st. And we are just getting started this evening. It may not be the Olympics, but local Beach Patrol members fighting for gold in Rehoboth. 
and we have some approaching downpours overnight, but for tomorrow, we're looking really sunny and a lot warmer. We'll talk about the timing of the rain that I'm tracking in a moment. First, a language learning app available for Milford Library card holders. How it's benefiting the community when we're back in just 60 seconds. Find your better night's sleep for less at Johnny Janosik. Shop now and get this King's Down Queen mattress, plush or firm, doorbuster price only $5.99. For a limited time only at Johnny Janosik's Mattress World. Mattresses under $9.99 and starting as low as $5.99 at Johnny Genosics Mattress World. Shop the area's largest selection of mattresses with immediate delivery available. Shop Johnny Genosics Mattress World. This is Coast TV News at 6. The Milford Public Library recently received a grant from the Purdue Foundation to continue helping community members learn a new language. All of this through a learning application called Mango Languages. Coast TV News reporter Ana Sofia Roman shows us the importance of the resource in this community. Leah Rosell, the Milford Public Library Director, says since offering a way for the community to learn up to 70 languages, more people are able to partake. We have a really diverse community. We have a lot of Spanish-speaking uh, residents as well as Haitian Creole and a lot of English-speaking people who are really excited to learn additional languages. Um, so yeah, there's a big demand for it. Data provided by the Milford Public Library shows the average time spent per session is almost four hours. Milford resident Neida Albarran, who describes herself as a multicultural advocate, expands on the importance of learning a new language nowadays. The opportunity to learn another language opens doors. It gives the opportunity for new relationships. It helps us grow together in unity as a community. And so having a resource that is available whenever you can use it and wherever you're able to use it is invaluable. It's a precious gift that the library is giving to our community. Rosell says she is thankful for grants like this. We have limited operating funds. The reality is, is that we're not immune to inflation, but we have no prices to raise. And so what that means is the opposite, the inverse is cutting back services and resources. Um, and so these grants really do matter. Breaking barriers, one language at a time. To access the Mango language database, all you need is a Milford Public Library card. If you don't have one, make sure to stop at the library to get one and start your language journey. In Milford, Ana Sofia Roman, Coast TV News. Here's a look at your golf forecast. Listen, it's going to be a little bit on the muggy side. We're starting to feel every bit of summertime, but still excellent conditions. Just a little more heat and a little more humidity. Coast TV First Alert Weather. Your safety, our commitment. Join Club Ocean at Ocean Downs and get $20 free play guaranteed. We ship you not. Then use your card every time you play to earn more rewards. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. My patients mean the world to me. It's why I come to work every day. When a patient gives me a hug or says, I can't believe you were able to do this for me. Getting somebody out of pain. Seeing a patient be able to smile when they haven't for years. Somebody that's afraid and then they're not afraid anymore. I love making a difference in other people's lives for the better. I think that's a really amazing thing that you can do for somebody else. I'm thankful that I get to do it. Open six days a week with convenient hours. Call and schedule your appointment today. Hey, welcome to Poppy's Tacos. There's plenty of space for you and all of your friends. The menu is packed with real deal Mexican eats. Build your own tacos are always a fan favorite. Authentic short rib is my choice. The fajitas are steaming and the smothered burritos are killer. We're open 363 days a year, so come pull up a chair. Poppy's, there's always a fiesta on 15th Street. 
Has your kitchen remodel been on the back burner? Move it forward now and take advantage of our biggest kitchen sale of the year. Paul Davis can restyle your kitchen for half the cost of a traditional kitchen remodel. Get all new doors, drawers, and hardware without any major demolition. And the best part is, it's done in as little as three days. We'll bring the showroom to you as soon as tomorrow and give you an estimate that day. Call now to get $1,500 off, plus free hardware and no payments, no interest for 12 months. Call Paul Davis. The restoration and remodeling experts. Hurricane season is here, which means power outages can strike any time without warning. Don't get caught in the dark. Let the expert electricians at FH Fur install a Generac whole home standby generator, keeping your lights on, your family connected, and your home safe no matter what. Call FH Fur today and get $1,000 off. Plus, for a limited time, we'll include a whole home surge protector absolutely free. When Mother Nature strikes, it's too late. Stay powered, stay safe with FH Fur. 877 Call Fur. FHFur.com. Capture your favorite moments at the Coast TV photo booth. Strike a pose and snap a pic all for free. View previous pictures and see the next event at CoastTV.com under the Features tab. The Coast TV photo booth, sponsored by Bath by Spicer Brothers. In 1924, my grandfather, Jay Con Scott, decided to start a life in the furniture business. I'm proud to say that as the third generation, we celebrate our 100-year anniversary. From a humble small town furniture store to an interior design destination with 35,000 square feet in Selbyville and our newest location in Rehoboth Beach. Jay Con Scott celebrating our 100 year anniversary. Download the free Coast TV First Alert weather app today. Well, it feels like the heat and humidity is getting back in full swing for us. And so with that comes the possibility of an afternoon shower once in a while. But the lion's share of the rain that we're expecting is likely to happen throughout the overnight early morning hours before the sun comes up and could be a little bit on the heavy side. Now we're looking at temperatures in the 70s with partly cloudy skies for the rest of this evening, according to our dry tech camera. Today's high, we warmed to 84 degrees in Georgetown, just one degree cooler than that in Salisbury. However, we had a high of 84 degrees in Cambridge as well as Easton. Here's where the temperatures are right now. We're at 86 in Redden, 83 currently in Seaford. But we're at a cool 74 degrees right now, for example, in Bethany Beach and a nice comfortable 72 degrees right now in Ocean City. And it feels pretty much like the temperatures right now, a little bit higher for us in Redden, but not really by much. Scattered cloud cover as we have that flow of moisture that's coming out of the south, primarily out of the south. And we do have a couple of concerns with winds. We have a small craft advisory in effect until 8 o'clock in the morning along the uh, Sussex County coast. And it's also in effect for us from Ocean City all the way down toward Chincoteague. So we're watching out for about 25 mile per hour wind gusts. Other than that, we're looking pretty quiet thus far, keeping a very close eye on developing scattered showers on the other side of the uh, Chesapeake Bay area. And we are expecting for it to continue to track towards the east because it's being propagated or pushed by this trough that's relatively weak, but it has some impressive pulses along that trough area. Something that has become very interesting as of late, the air quality has been going down, spiraling down for us throughout the Delmarva Peninsula. We're at the moderate level. We're not quite at orange, but we're starting to see some orange dots pop up through our portions of Maryland, so we're going to keep a close eye on that. And because my buddy or Charlie's been sneezing and wheezing, I thought I'd check the sneeze cast. Uh, grass is at a medium level. Trees and weeds are at a low level for us for today. And overall, we are expecting for the uh, boardwalk forecast to still stay cooperative. Now, with all that in mind, we're looking at Wednesday relatively clear. Thursday looking pretty good as well with the cat chats or spot showers flaring up on Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday in Assateague, we're looking for temperatures staying in the 80s for scattered showers for Wednesday in Ocean City, but clearing out for, th for the uh, Thursday, Friday time frame and 90 on Wednesday for Lewis. Here's a look at your Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling extended forecast. Looks like we're going to have a streak of thunderstorms Friday through next Tuesday. No sneeze is safe around here. It's no secret. <laughs> Paris isn't the only city having some action-packed competition. Rehoboth Beach recently held their Beach Patrol Lifeguard Olympics, and one patrol took home the gold. Some 200 local lifeguards competed in fierce events on July 25th, running, swimming, even tug-of-war. The Delaware State Park lifeguards won the gold. Bethany Beach coming in second, followed by Ocean City in third. Congrats to all. And with all the excitement in Paris, we want to find out what Delmarva's favorite summer game is. We've chosen a few common favorite sports, all of which can be watched right here on Coast TV over the next two weeks. To look at the top left of your screen, gymnastics beat out equestrian. 
I'm upset about it. But <laughs> anyway, gymnastics, surfing, swimming, just a couple of the games you all voted that move forward to round two. Maddie loves every horse story we can do. <laughs> That's true. Let's take a look at some of the current face-offs in round two on our Coast TV poll. Look at here. Gymnastics still dominating round two. It looks like 80% of you guys say let's do gymnastics instead of surfing. And again, don't forget to choose your favorites at coasttv.com slash vote. There are a ton more face-offs happening right now now in the second round. And the Olympic Zone has more Olympic action. It continues on Coast TV News. It's a daily summary of behind the scenes fanfare at 7.30. It is all things happening at 7.30 right during the games. And heading to sports, a chaotic 24 hours in the major league as trades were being made to the wire. DSN's Kayla Santiago has updates on how the local team panned out ahead of the deadline. The 2024 MLB trade deadline has concluded and right here at Camden Yards, they have added some new pieces. We saw it yesterday in game one against the series of the Blue Jays with Zach Eflin getting the start on the mound. They also added to their bullpen in Sir Anthony Dominguez, outfielder Christian Pache, and before the 6 p.m. deadline today, they added one more piece in that rotation. Adding a lefty to the rotation in Trevor Rogers from the Miami Marlins. Rogers has a 4.53 ERA this season. We got a chance to talk with Orioles manager Brandon Hyde on what the addition of Rogers means to this team. From what I do know, he's, um, you know, a, Guy that's had really good, nine or ten really good starts his last last times out and and um, always looking for starting pitching and hopefully he could help us down the stretch. And that concludes the 2024 MLB trade deadline. Now the Baltimore Orioles still focusing on that second half of the season. The Yankees are right behind them in the AL East, only a half a game back. So this series is uber important for Baltimore. They'll look to get back in the victory column tonight with first pitch being at 6.35 p.m. Reporting from Camden Yards for the Delmarva Sports Network, I'm Kayla Santiago. Transform your bath today with Bath by Spicer Brothers. Call now and ask about our Refresh for Less promotion and get a new bath or shower for only $69.95. Plus, get 20% off all upgrades. Imagine stepping into a beautifully renovated bath designed by our experts and installed by our certified professionals. This offer is hotter than a sauna and won't last forever. So don't miss out on our Refresh for Less promotion for just $69.95 with 20% off all upgrades. Before you sign, keep Bath by Spicer Brothers in mind because you deserve the best. This morning's weather forecast, courtesy of Bath by Spicer Brothers, a Del Marva tradition for over 20 years. Now that it's sizzling out, is your AC fizzling out? Beat the heat with Horizon Services. Upgrade that old unit for zero down and zero percent interest, and get up to a 12-year warranty on your new full home comfort system. Plus, save up to $3,500 in free upgrades and rebates when you schedule your free estimate. Same day service, expert technicians, and a job done right the first time. Need service today? Horizon is on the way. When you're close to the land and the sea, you can taste the goodness. The historic Lewis Farmer's Market brings farms closer to tables. Meet the growers, talk to the people that milk the cows, and pick the perfect peaches. Organically grown fruits and vegetables, sustainable meats and eggs, A2 dairy products, artisan breads, and fresh local seafood. The historic Lewis Farmer's Market is in the park every Saturday from 8 to noon and at Crooked Hammock Brewery every Wednesday from 8 to 11.30 a.m. This summer, celebrate the timeless romance between driver and savings by putting just a penny down at Pohanka Hyundai's Love and Savings Sales Event. With as low as 0% APR financing for up to five years on select new 2024 Hyundais. And receive a free pair of movie tickets when you test drive any new vehicle at Pohanka Hyundai. They all come with Hyundai Assurance America's best warranty. Put just a penny down and fall in love with interest-free financing at Pohanka Hyundai of Salisbury. Delaware Electric Cooperative is proud to power Central and Southern Delaware. We power local artists creating masterpieces inspired by nature, eateries with roots that run deep in our communities, and business owners helping other entrepreneurs succeed. We serve a new orchestra founded by co-op members and a new library built to better serve Harrington families. We're inspired by the stories of our friends and neighbors, and it's for these people and places that DEC is committed to keeping the lights on. The 
beauty is hard to miss at Ocean City's premier golf course, Eagles Landing. Overlook the Cinepunxent Bay's salt marshes and enjoy the unspoiled beauty of Assateague Island National Seashore. Eagles Landing offers five sets of tees, making the course playable for beginners and challenging for most skilled golfers. And the Caddyshack Cafe and Pro Shop ensure golfers have everything they need. Find our best rates at EaglesLandingGolf.com. Eagles Landing, upholding the tradition of the game. Today's weather emoji cast is brought to you by OC Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. Beautiful when a beach plan comes together. Our Gateway Subaru camera is indicating that temperatures will be in the 70s. You can keep up with your forecast by calling our weather line at 443-880-9100. Sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. And finally, here's a look at your exclusive Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling 10-day forecast. We go from 91 to 93 a couple of days in a row before the rain kicks in Friday through next Tuesday. Paul, thank you, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The NBC Nightly News is up next. And we're going to see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 11. Have a great evening.